Hello and welcome back to my playthrough of Ultima 4 Quest of the Avatar. We are here where we left off in Dungeon Shame. We've got this thing in front of us. I don't know what it is. Um, let's take a look at the map real fast. Remind ourselves of our placement. So we are standing right in front of the F, whatever that waterfall-y kind of thing is. Uh, that's the F. We got the two orbs last time, which increased intelligence and health. So that's cool. Intelligence and strength, I think it was. Uh, so that's cool. So now we need to get out of here. And then we're going to have to fight our way back up through these three rooms. And then turn around and go down here to get down here so we can get up to level seven. Because we are still looking for uh, the the shame or shame the purple stone. Now we found the blue stone last time, I believe. Uh, so uh, we are on the hunt for the purple, and then we can go get the green, and then we can uh, use the altar in the uh, altar room of truth, and get our first part of the key in our hot little hands. So let's get to it. So first what I want to do is just for Chucks, I don't know if this is something it didn't going in. It didn't seem to do anything to us. It didn't stop us. It didn't heal us. It didn't harm us. Uh, I'm not sure what this is. Who drinks? Uh, well, let's see, Joffrey, you got the most health right now. No effect. Interesting. I'll try it. What the heck? Refreshing. Oh, it, it 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 did revive my Joffrey is fully healed. Oh, I see. I see. So let's have Dupree uh drink. And he's now fully healed. That's everybody full up. Excellent. Excellent. All right, that's good to know. I the F stands for fountain. Makes sense. Uh so now we know about that. All right, so let's continue on. Uh, yeah, so we've got to go down. So we're coming in here, and we've got to take on these guys, and we got to work our way up. I, I, we did this once already, I believe. And uh, now we got to do it again. Uh, I'm going to have... Shamino cast in a gate. You can't do anything, Jana, because you're like in a corner. All right, that's good. Oh, Joffrey, you need you need to step up. So do you. All right. That guy's got a little bit of health. Oops. Come on, Julia. There we go. Not getting a lot of hits on these guys. He's still barely wounded. Now he's heavily wounded. Good. Barely wounded still. It's funny how there's always seems to be one headless that can't quite, doesn't go with the group. And well, now he's starting to come down, I think. He's like the loner. All right, Gazer's critical. Now we get this Reaper critical, that would be good. 
All right, another one bites dust. This headless should not last long, and it did not. Oh, the Reaper's gone. Good news. All right, I'm going to bring you guys over. I'll bring him over to engage the enemy, but also we got to uh, go out the top. We got to go out the top. So we might as well get started on that a little bit. Well, I guess I could have brought them over. All right. Right. He's fleeing. We'll see how well that works for him. I'll leave you there right now, Dupree, in case he flees up. And he's not going to flee. He's, his fleeing days are over, so that's... Sucks to be him. As you can tell, I'm just overloaded with sympathy for that poor little gazer. Oh, that's right. We are in combat, so that'll stop Mr. Balron from mucking up things. Um, I hate that our our people in front, the uh, the melee people, right now. But let's see if we can. How many of these we can take down? You can't do anything before they can get to stealing our gold. Not that gold is a super big problem for us right now. You know, and, and we've got a ton, a lot, 1,800 pieces right now. So we're doing pretty good. But why lose it if we don't have to, especially to the like of these? And we get more to, we get more to loot on our, on our way out. So all right, nobody's lined up with us. I wonder if we have to kill that Balron. Yeah, we'll probably do. I'll probably have to cast a, a dispel. Um, and take him out. Barely wounded. Gone. Oop. So, sorry, Jeffrey. You're out of range. We're down to one lonely bandit. Who's gone? All right, so... I'm going to get up here, and we're going to form a battle line. So it's... Not going to include Joffrey. It's not going to include Katrina. We can do... All right, I got you up here and then get over there because I don't want to take a hit for... You know, for leaving a battle scene with a enemy unvanquished, if you will. So. What in the hell is that? We just got hit by a gold box. And it has eyes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think uh, we'll have... Whoops, I could have had him. No, that's Joffrey. All right, I'm going to have a couple of my people go up and uh, 
take care of the gold boxes, I think. Oh, that's Joffrey. He can do nothing. And that's Katrina. You can go up. You can go up. You come up here with me. I'm going to just send Jana over behind these two. All right. Might as well send my melee folks up there. Oh, he's already heavily wounded. Good shot. Because maybe they can do some do some good there. Oh, the balance critical already. I like that. I could have attacked there. His you know his his avatar's got a got a sword. Oh, he's gone. Beautiful. So I sometimes forget that, no, he does not have a sword. What is that? A mimic. Interesting. Something we've never come across until now. All right, barely wounded. Uh, let's see. Oh, they tried their poison. Well, Katrina is poisoned. That's kind of nasty. All right, I'm going to have to heal Katrina. I guess I'll wait until she's done fighting these things. Mimic fleeing. All right. Good luck with that. I don't think that's going to work out very well for you. All right. Hopefully we can get out of this... Uh, without Dupree getting poisoned, or anybody else for that matter. All right, good, they are done. So we've got three hidden walls up there that we can go through to get us up into the third and final chamber. So we can work on getting the team up there. All right, and here we got dragons on roller skates again. All right, Joffrey, I'm gonna wait, have you wait in and maybe you too, Katrina. Have you come over and you come over. It sucks to be you, Jana, because you're way at the end, but you're also the squishiest. And so I guess maybe it's okay that there are some battles you're not positioned. And I just cut off John, um, Katrina, which wasn't necessarily my intent. Critical. Fleeing. Dead. All right, heavily wounded. Lightly wounded. Very good. I'm just going to come up north and Whoops, Joffrey should have walked. Come on, guys. Jeez. Everybody's got a case of the missums here. Bring Katrina over. Maybe she can help out. Oh, doesn't matter. That one's dead. Oh, let's take care of this last one. Perfect. Whoop. Death and new attack. Sorry, sorry. Battle's over. <laughs> Battle's over. You can stop shooting now. All right. Is oh there is a secret room 
thing. That was like another battle room or something, wasn't it? I think we, we've been through here once before, haven't we? I think we were. All right, I'm going to get people kind of congregating toward the exit, but I'm going to go and put my body on this space. Oh, 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 frack. Hold on. I think what that did is if you look, now we can loop down to go out the west. How do we need to go? Let's look at the look at the map here. We want to go to the west. Oh, dear. Well, hopefully we'll have our whole party with us. <laughs> but the rest of us are going to go out the west. This is a question I had is if I sent people out a different exit, would we still all be together when we get back to that exit? We're going to try it and see. So, uh, Iolo, I guess you're going to... Let's get back to the game, actually, before we start talking to Iolo. Iolo's not listening to me. All right, Iolo, you're going to go... Okay, he passed. Good enough, because he's waiting for me to make a decision. Just shut up and make a decision, man. You're in charge. All right, come over this way. Over. Over. I'll come up. Over. Iolo, you might as well come down. Over, over, over. I have a feeling that the only... Whoops. Screwed that up. The important person, as far as which exit we go out of, is my character as the lead. So we'll see. Who is it that we don't have? Uh, let's see. So that's Dupree. That's Iolo. That's Julia. That's Shamino. That's Jana. I think it's Joffrey. Right, we don't have Joffrey. Or Katrina. Or Katrina. Okay, that'll be interesting. That actually could be handy if that's how this thing works. Hopefully it doesn't mean that we're going to be without them until we get back to this spot and get back up to the top that would kind of be a, a pain in the butt because we've lost two out of eight out of our party whatever that percentage works out to be I'm not doing the math alright come on why can't I go out all must use same exit oh bloody hell alright well that answers my question all right, so that means I'm gonna to have to go up to the top and then come back down again, and I might have to fight all this all this stuff again. So I guess let's start on that process. Gosh darn it! I guess I should have I should have followed my first gut instinct of nobody leaves until I figure out what's going on with that button, and I screwed it up. That's 100% me. All right, get me out of the way. Let's get these guys out of here, and then I will follow. Gone. Skip me over. Up. I couldn't see who had that turn. All right. All right, <laughs> this seems stupid, but it's what we have to do. Yeah, we gotta fight these guys again, and then we gotta go down and hit the button. Oh, dear God. Well, at least we don't have to go all the way through again.
All right. Okay, we are now in the hallway leading to um, ultimately the 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 uh, ladder up to level seven. Uh, so. We advanced, we got a, oh, oh, oh. So Katrina, I couldn't figure out why the heck we got, somebody got a hit there and it's because they were poisoned. Okay. Interesting that these bugs don't seem to want to uh, fight. Now they want to fight and a rat because bug, you see bugs and rats hanging out together all the time. It's a bit of an epidemic in case you weren't aware. It's a thing. Would I make this up? I'm talking about science here, people. All right, I guess I'll come down. I'm just gonna let these guys be in front and then if they get down that far, they probably won't. I don't see any real reason to get them all the way up there because probably by the time they get up there, there won't be anything to fight. Unless we keep keep up with the missy missy but if that's the case then uh they'll make it down to the uh melee people anyway so just let them hang out conserve their energy all right with the rats fleeing already wow are rats like the uh the nixies of the uh of the dungeon One hit and they're gone. This guy may, I don't know if we'll get a shot. At, okay, we will. It's interesting. There were some comments saying, do you get, do you get uh, dinged? Asking, you know, do you get dinged if you shoot fleeing foes? Um, because they thought that that might be the case. And I could see where that might have been a, that might have been a, oh, those were phantoms. I thought those were insects. Now I'm confused. I could have sworn that was the symbol for, for insects, but what do I know? All right, so we will continue on. Ah, we got some gazers, huh? Great. Well, two gazers. Nothing really to worry about. Uh, I should probably have moved her over, but I didn't. Same thing for Ilo. I Olo. All right, we're down to down to one already. I'm going to move out of the way so that if a gazer gets down to melee range, then I can have Joffrey move up and... Okay, it doesn't matter. I find nothing. All right, well, I guess I will go up and get this... Get this chest. And we might as well have our melee people. I don't want them to get rusty after all. That was a mistake. So we got gazers and a ghost. A lot of gazers too. This is a pretty big, pretty big posse. As gazer posses go. All right. Get up there, get up there. I'm sleeping. Figures, just at the point where I could get some gold. I'm sleeping on the box. Okay, so let's keep going. Ah, 
How are you missing him, Katrina? He's right in front of you and you have a sword. Use the pointy end. I mean, what other instructions do you really need? I hope I wake up so I can I can get the gold that I'm that I'm laying on before this ends. All right, good. I'm awake. All right, another one down. All right, get 58 gold. I don't know if that's supposed to be the gold from the last set. I'm not quite sure how that's working. All right. Oh, okay, so much for the ghost. Katrina, I think you're out of it at this point. You are not in position. Bring these three guys in so they could be a... All right, that one's gone. Oh, that's Joffrey, I think I've got there in the back. He's the, he's not going to be very helpful. There we go. 83 gold. All right. And let's climb. All right, so we are up here on level seven now. I think that's where we're going to leave it for this particular episode. So I'll be back. Uh, we'll start off right where we are. We'll peer at the gym and see what the level looks like. But uh, we will do that next time. Thank you for joining me for this journey. And please come back for the next episode as we continue to look for the purple gem here in Dungeon Shame. And until next time be seeing you.